where you break everything down into as small um, parts as possible called atoms. And then you can use those atoms to build more complex parts called molecules and then organisms using molecules, etc., etc. Uh, when developing a common UI library, um, this um, methodology works very great. Uh, with React, you can make components, share them, and um, at least for my part, uh, having the atoms and molecules as the common part uh, makes sense while organisms tend to be more domain specific, so those pr will probably be more useful implementing in the project level. And um, you might be asking yourself, what is Storybook? Well, actually, this is Storybook. So I've made this uh, presentation inside Storybook. It's this handy little tool. It's a UI development environment where you can make your React components completely uh, independent of each other or any type of uh, project. Um, so let's start with let's start with an atom. Let's say your designer comes with this spec. This is an image um, with some styles, some states. Uh, fair enough. You implement it, and there you have a button with some hover state. You can press it. And Storybook will even give you this type of uh, action logger, uh, which you can um, add to your button to see that it works. And you can even define predefined states for the button, like a red one or an active one. And you can even use this handy function, the show info, and you can see exactly how the button is used. And what type of prop props is defined to the component. So it makes like a very handy uh, guide for other developers if they want to use a component they haven't used before, or um, generally for anybody who wants to see what type of components you have. You can even link one story to another one, like this button will go to the next one, and then this one will go back. So you can build up flows of uh, different states your component have. Um, I guess that's why it's called Storybook. You build stories. Uh, and you can even use a handy little add-on you can add to Storybook called Knobs where you can make just one button. But if you go down to the knob section, you can actually, on the fly, customize uh, the property sent into that button. Or toggle different states, like disabled or active, anything you might like. Let's say your designer comes with another spec for a page title and a subtitle, easy enough. Now we have uh, another atom. So let's combine those two to a molecule. In this case, we made a header component, which uses a title, subtitle, and some buttons. Again, we can use knobs to customize it on the fly. Uh, sadly, like sending an array of Another component, you can't really uh, modify that with knobs, but you can change the text in the button, for example. And then you would make more molecules, uh, more atoms, and uh, we package them in a NPM package, which then we can install in any project we might want to use those components. So we have um, have the design pattern on multiple projects. And the nice thing also, which we got for free using Storybook, 
is that you can build a static version of Storybook. So I can do that now if I do an if I build Storybook. It's now building a static version of itself. And if I open just a um, small server locally and open the static folder, boom, you have a design uh, manual, a showcase of your components. You can upload to any static hosting site and uh, show off your components. Is it, if it's, you know, the customer wants to see them, other developers, other colleagues, Anybody, if you want to try it, you can look at our show showcase at this URL. But be warned, though, that Storybook is currently not very mobile friendly. So use a desktop. So I would just recommend you to check out Storybook. At, they have a, a couple of add-ons, like this uh, show info and the knobs. And they even have an accessibility add-on. And version 3 was uh, recently released uh, with WebAct 2 support. Um, yeah, so we've had uh, very much very positive experience using Storybook in our projects. Um, thank you. <laughs>